canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get that? <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I... Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand-up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand-up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand-up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand-Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand-up anymore. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. What? You called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say.